thought I'd provide an answer here that's a little different than the standard type of answer. It is indeed the case that the set of points in an xy plane that are equidistant from a given point, in this case the point negative 9, 2, and the given line x equals negative 3 is this green dotted vertical line, is a parabola. So this problem could have been stated, find the equation of a parabola with focus at negative 9, 2, and directrix x equals negative 3. But where does that equation come from? This is it right here, by the way, in vertex form. Uh, if we pick any point in the xy plane, and we want to find just those points that satisfy the condition that this distance to the what we're calling the focus is exactly the same as the distance from that given point to the directrix x equals negative three uh, we can find this distance using the distance formula between the general point x y and negative nine two that's what this is here d sub one distance formula in this case when y is 6, the distance d1 is 13 thirds. The distance from that point to the directrix, since the directrix is vertical, the distance will be along the horizontal. So we only need the change in x. And the change in x goes from this x value to the value of x equals negative 3. And so I've written that as negative 3 minus x sub 1. That assumes that negative 3 is to the right of x sub 1. If we wanted to, we could put absolute value symbols here. Now, in order to find the set of all points in the xy plane that satisfy the fact that d sub 1 equals d sub 2, we could set them equal to each other, uh, manipulate the equation, and see if we can end up with this. So here we go. I squared both sides, which removed this radical, and in the same step, I squared each of these binomials. So minus 9 minus x, the quantity squared is this right here. 2 minus y, the quantity squared is this. And I'm going to square the quantity negative 3 minus x on the next line. Uh, there it is, 9 plus 6x plus x squared. Notice there's an x squared on both sides of the equal sign. I can cancel those out. I can get x on one side of the equal sign. So I'll have 18x minus 6x gives me 12x. Move all other terms to the right side of the equal sign. I get minus y squared plus 4y. Move the 85 over, subtract 85 from both sides. I get negative 76. Uh, now I want to complete the square to put it in vertex form. So the opposite of I factor out a negative sign from each of these first two terms, leaving the negative 76 sitting out there to the right. And then I complete the square on this trinomial. Half of negative 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. By putting a 4 in that blank, I've really added a negative 4 to the left side because if I distribute this negative sign back through the parentheses, I will get a negative 4. So I have to add a 4 to the right side of the equal sign to keep the equation in balance. Now, if I rewrite y squared minus 4y plus 4 as a binomial squared, that's what I get here, y minus 2 the quantity squared. Negative 76 plus 4 is negative 72. And then I divide by 12 to get the x by itself. And that's why I have this negative 1 12th. And negative 72 divided by 12 is negative 6. So, that is the process that you go through to find the equation of a parabola in general. And you'll find some textbooks that will go through all those steps where x, the focus is some uh, specific point, but written with the letters a and b, for example. And the directrix is the line x equals d, something like that. Uh, now, if I share my screen, and go to Desmos. Uh, here's a picture of this parabola. And what I like you to focus on is these d sub ones, d sub twos. As I change the y value, that point moves along the parabola. 
but those D1, D2s remain the same. Okay, I don't care where you put it. And the way that you generally, if you know all about parabolas and foci and directrix, uh, you can determine where the vertex is going to be by uh, locating the midpoint of the segment between joining the focus negative two negative nine comma two and uh, the line x equals negative three so the midpoint is this negative six two that's the vertex so now you've got h and k and all you need is p and p is the distance from the vertex to the focus three or the distance from the vertex to the directrix, also three. We could say it's a directed distance. I just like to think if, if uh, the parabola is opening away from the directrix to the left, the P has to be negative. So this is the negative one over four P right there. Okay, so you don't have to go through all this to figure out this equation. You have to identify the axis of symmetry, figure out the midpoint of the this segment right here. That's the vertex. That gives you H and K. And this distance right here is P, from the vertex to the focus, or the vertex to the directors. In our case, P is 3. Uh, if we're going towards the focus, we can say P equals negative 3 in this case. Directed distance. Okay, there you go. I hope that was a little uh, enlightening. And there you go.